So time for the main event on this historic all-female card live here on Fox Sports between Taylor Harris and the Australian super welterweight champion, Millie agbo Bulan. Ben Damon in commentary alongside Jeff Menick and Kate McLaren and no time to breathe here because Agbo Bulan, as she does, storms forward and throws punches and she will be aggressive here against Harris who wants to box and use her range. Yeah, Harris wants to use that long jab but um, Agbo Bulan's not going to let her by the looks of things. Millie Agbo Bulan has asked us to call her Millie. You'll be pleased to hear throughout commentary for this fight. So Millie against Harris in this one. Thanks very much, Millie. And she looks for something huge with that right hand as she gets to the body of Harris as well with the same right hand. Eyes wide for Millie and she is Having some success in the early stages of this one. She was a quality amateur and she's been a good pro who's coming off her best professional victory as well. But this is a step up against the big, tough, strong Harris. Who has stopped her last four opponents on the trot. Shot there from Millie. And a right hand gets through as well. I was just about to say, I like the way she's got that right hand stuck right on the side of the face. It doesn't move, it doesn't drop. And when she throws it, she throws it straight down the pipe, which is the deadliest way to throw it. There's a good shot on the inside there from Harris. And it just slowed Millie down for a moment because it's been a frantic start from the Australian champion. Kate, okay, I hope you're watching where this right hand is of it. Taylor Harris there, it's right up there on the side of the face and she throws from there. What are you thinking, Kate, watching this? Yeah, I think both girls are extremely fit and conditioned. Uh, Millie is, uh, she's very tough, she's, she's putting the pressure on Taylor, she's knowing exactly what to do here. Yeah, great first opening round. Some big punches yeah. at the end of that round, Ben, that just jack, hey? Nice and long and keep her at the end of it, you know what I'm saying? Start with your feint to set it up and from there, shoot nice and long, you know what I'm saying? You want to keep her at the end of it. Again, as soon as you let those go, roll under and out, you know what I'm saying? Keep resetting. Yeah, exactly. As soon as you start to get out here, turn, turn, turn. Deep breath. You want to sit? She's a little bit erratic, yeah? Commit to your jab. Commit to your jab. Commit to your jab. Stay nice and tucked in behind that Either all the way out, yeah. and St. Patrick's ship comes in. As soon as you land it, keep turning, 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 you know what I'm saying? You're doing fine, you land it one or two, and you can already see yeah. the start. The as you get more. There's strong advice in the Harris corner. That opening round, Millie was so strong and erratic, but successful. A really strong opening two minutes from the Australian champion. And Harris does get on the jab in the early stages of the second round. It's a good jab too. Looking for that long right hand is Millie. And jabbing away is Harris. It's a jab too from Millie and a right hand that follows it. Stop, stop, stop getting tangled. Yeah, they weren't big punches then, but they both landed. Shot there from Harris on the inside. <laughs> Millie Agbo Bullen just waits here for a moment. Then Harris gets out with the right hand. Millie threw the right hand herself, but it was Harris that got through. <laughs> Counter shot from Harris. Yeah, another nice straight right here, there by Harris. Could you keep this up, Millie, do you think, Kate? Millie, she looks extremely fit. Um, not too sure what her camp's been like, but, um, yeah, I mean, like, her fitness is definitely up there at the moment. I know we're only on round two, but um, hopefully she can keep it through all eight. Taylor just needs to keep popping that jab, keeping her out, but I think Millie knows the game plan. She's, she's looking at the body, as we can see now, so I think there we go. Yeah. She goes to the body with the right hand as well, does Millie. Harris jabbing. 
now moving backwards to avoid that big right hand. Millie is sort of leaning with her head first on that, some of those overhand shots, which concerns me a little bit. Oh, right hand. Gets through from Millie late in another really competitive round as we head to Charmaine Mipson. I'm here with Swans midfielder Chloe Malloy. Chloe, something different for you? How are you finding the boxing tonight? Yeah, this is my first ever boxing match that I've watched live. I think it's amazing that it's an all-female headline. Um, yeah, on a, it's actually incredible to watch. I appreciate what these athletes do. I'm at, like, oh, it's insane. I could never do it. And you've got a fellow AFLW player in there. You've played against her. Could you imagine being against her in the ring? What kind of competitor is she? Oh, honestly, watching her out here is just like the way she plays, obviously, to the rules of AFL. She just goes for it, flies at it. She looks relaxed. Like, I love seeing her smile as well. This is kind of the player that she is. And um, there's a few of the Swannies girls and even like her Melbourne mates have come down. So, yeah, she definitely boxes the way she plays which is relaxed chill calm and yeah i'm loving watching her i'm sure a very proud night for you seeing all the girls get into action who's your prediction oh tay all the way as if i wouldn't be on team tay thank you enjoy the fights good luck yeah the aflw begins friday september the first as we continue the action here in the australian title fight jeff what have you made of this one so far between millie and harris yeah millie's trying to you know, work out a plan how to get all, uh, uh, around those big, long, straight arms of, uh, of Harris's, which is very, very difficult, and she's finding it difficult. She's landing a couple of punches, but it's very, very hard, Ben. Gee, this is a really high-quality boxing event so far. Both of them are having some success as Harris sits down on that right hand, as Millie just found herself in an awkward position for a moment, but the right hand of, of Harris gets through over the top and of the body as well and she throws a tight shot too better stuff from taylor harris here in the third round a couple of big white hands have landed from harris stop, stop, stop. millie agbo Borland has scored with big right hands in the first couple of the rounds and she gets another through there and harris will like what happened in the first minute of this third round as the uppercut from Millie gets through as well and she tries to double it up on the right hand from Harris over the top. Yeah, Millie's punting from all angles. She's just trying to get that left and the land in the right, in the right places. Stop! Stop! Right. Harris grabbing like away. Harris needs to put a bit more pressure on now. She had it quite close to the ropes. She could just back Millie up onto those ropes and start unloading some of her punches. That would be good. You can see that swelling around the eye of Harris from those right hands. Millie looks. Body shots from Harris. Big shots as Millie just tries to cover up. Still keeping that high intensity going. Good work rate from both girls. They end the round. And is there just a little cut there? No, just some bruising around the eye from those right hands. That look to try and knock her out. Do what you do. Use your jab. Exactly. Use your jab. It's a nice jab. Okay, and every time you've been quick on it, you're landing a flush on it. Do you know what I'm saying? Again, when you want to land those power shots, it comes off that long jab. Do you know what I'm saying? Now you can start to bring those shots in. Do you know what I'm saying? Deep breath, suck it up. There's one of those right hands from the champion. Millie doesn't look too phased by Taylor's jab. She goes straight in. Yeah, she doesn't look phased at all, Kate. I think she's, uh, yeah, she's fighting fire with fire. If anything, it's the body shots we just saw that have been the best success for Harris so far. Yeah, that you know, four or five body shots she threw there were very, very effective. So this one, delicately poised into round four. Eight rounds for the Australian title. Harris put everything into her right hand and Millie agbo Bullen saw it coming, ducked underneath. Verbal warning. Verbal warning, please stop. Come on, good boxing. Good boxing from both of you. Let's go, Fox. Leanne Reid, our referee. She's done all five fights on this card. This all female card as Harris throws a right hand and another. Agbo Bullen came straight back. 
She's in, then she's out. Millie. She's looking for the openings. Oh! The right hand from Millie. Stop, stop, stop. That is her shot. She's had great success with that wild, powerful right hand as the defending Australian champion. Now they get in tight. Harris just happy to hang on to her as we enter the second minute of the fourth round. Taylor back on the jab. Oh, she missed with a big right hand there. Sees them coming well, doesn't she? Millie agbo Bullen. Definitely. She looks. She's watching everything that's going on. It's good. I can take a point off you for holding. All right? Please. Box. Shots it's from both it's just whiz by. Well, and they will change the complexion of this if the, something scores like yeah, that. Yeah, well, the referee just warned um, t t Harrison about uh, about holding. So, um, yeah, yeah. Oh, nice punches there. Good shots from Millie, the champion. She goes forward and throws a bunch. Punches well, too. She doesn't even look tired yet. Oh, oh right hand. beautiful right hand from Millie Agbo Bullen to end the round. And Harris is walking over there with a little bit of a, yeah, not, a, not, not the best look on the face you know, after the big white hand just landed. That was a huge shot. Right at the end of the round as we get into the Harris corner. Come out to your right. This is that shot. That is her punch in this fight. That big right hand. And the referee definitely warned Harris about you holding him. She said she'd take a point you know off if she held again. Not once, you know what I'm saying? So keep your chin down, come out to your right, let that double jab right yeah. hand go. You know what I'm saying? Pushing the action. Back exactly. her up. Exactly. Now it's your time, Kate. Hey, turn the fight up. You've seen her best work. She hasn't seen half of what you've got. Yeah. You know, now it's time, yeah? Now is your time. She is a cross-code star, and she's deep in a very, very tough battle here for the Australian Super Welterweight title against an outstanding boxer who's throwing big right hands and scoring with plenty. Millie missed with the right hand and hit with a beautiful headbutt there. Heads have come together a few times, and they clashed again there. And he does a great job of getting on the inside of Taylor. Nice feint from Taylor. Mixing she's wary of the right hand and she's trying to make her own opportunities. The uppercut from Harris. And the heads came together and it's Millie who gets the warning. As Clash again. Over the top goes Millie. I like that movement by Millie. That's nice. Oh, there she lands the left hook there. Harris and a right hand. The inside, and then the left hook from stop, Millie stop. rocked her away. That right hand from Harris, but Millie again just saw it coming. And 30 seconds remain here in round five as Millie Agbo Bullman comes forward again and Harris tries to put her shots together. Millie's in some good shots in this round, Ben. She has, and there is significant swelling, not only around that eye, but also up on the forehead of Harris. Oh! As those rights and lefts get through again from Millie, and there's a right hand, and Harris comes back, and oh, here goes Taylor Harris late in the round, trying to get clear. Oh, Millie throws a big right hand, and they touch gloves. What a finish for that round. Really good action. What a big right hand that last punch from Millie was, Ben. And they get to work on that swelling, the egg that's appearing on the head of Harris. And let's have a look at the headbutt. When you're in five, the clash of heads and bring the up that occurred and earlier in the rounds. Well, there's oh. a big, 
right hands that got straight through and then the heads came together. But gee, it was a beautiful right hand from Millie Agbo Bullen. They tangled a number of times and then they saved the best for last at the end of the round. Off balance and in a tough spot there for a moment was Millie. Oh, she that came right back hands. with a beautiful right hand. Oh, she's so composed. She's in there standing up between rounds. She's she's ready. She is doing a beautiful job. The Nigerian-born, Melbourne-based Australian champion who has a picture-perfect right hand. Yeah, that constant moving, that little dodging, weaving side to side oh, is really working for Millie. And Harris, well, she wants something big and right hand gets through, but Agbal Bullen, she moved with it. And Jerry Murphy in the corner of the champion will be very happy with what he's seeing as she goes one, two again. And she went one, two, three, four then, Ben. Murphy used to train Taylor Harris, in fact, earlier in her career. And she is made of tough stuff, Harris. She will keep trying to find those sorts of shots. The right hand from Harris was a good one. Agbo Bullen, she dances. Says, it did not hurt me. Oh, as she comes forward with a shot of her own. What a fight we got here, Ben. She just keeps Taylor guessing with that head movement, those feints. You just don't know what's coming next. Big overhand right there. Yeah, all too often it is the big overhand right that is coming next, and it gets through. And again. 15 seconds here in round six. Harris, she walks forward. And she jabs away, and then she tries to score with a right hand and punches to the back of the head from Millie, which will get a warning from the referee. Okay. Untidy at the end of the round, but gee, she's doing an outstanding job. Outstanding job, here, but at the end of the round, man, Harris finished with a, a, good, a good combo, but wow, some of the punch that was landed during the round were amazing. I'm tired just watching it. Now listen. What on my body? On your body. Don't, don't stand in front of her with your hands down, all right? Keep your head moving, keep your hands there. Don't just stop. You've got your couple times here. You're winning. You're winning, all right? But you've got to keep it up. Keep moving sideways like you are now. Head moving, pull. Head moving, pull, yeah? All right, keep playing. Play with it. Play with it. Come yeah? here. Pretty confident words there in the corner, Ben. Play with her. No-one's playing with anyone here, but gee, they deserve to be confident. And Jerry Murphy deserves to be very happy with what Millie Agbo Borland is doing because this is a big occasion and she is boxing beautifully against a star in Taylor Harris. Yeah, it's a constant movement that's that's you know causing uh, Harris the problem. She just doesn't know where her opponent is. Side side. Oh, there's that right hand again, Ben. moment Harris hangs on and now she gets the defense in the way of that shot and she jabs to the body and yeah, that's what Harris should be doing with that head movement the body don't move in all oh, the heads came together again oh nastily Time. neutral corner stop. stop putting your head down okay all right Stop holding, stop going into that hole, all right? Okay. Oh. She's going to have some damage around the eyes. Tomorrow is Taylor Harris as she takes another shot, gives one back to. They get ready to trade at centre ring. Oh, only Agbo Borland just weaved underneath the shot there. 
Yeah, Millie's going all out there, but it's not. No, I don't think it's the smartest thing to do against Harris. Thirty seconds left. Harris just got a jab down the middle to the chest. And then bring the right hand over the top. I see no. Uh, oh wow! Look at that jab. Just jab. Yeah. And again. Yeah. And ten seconds left here in round seven. Yeah. Harris moving backwards and. And trying to work off a jab. Nate's angle, and we will get into the final round of the Australian title fight. Could you walk it straight in? No, no. Okay, listen yeah. to me. You've got one round left, and you're going to need to knock her down to win. Okay. Keep your chin down, keep your left hand tight, come out to your right, one, two down the pipe. You know what I'm saying? Commit to it, one round. You know what I'm saying? That's all that's in it. Okay? Chin down, left hand up, come out to your right, straight down the pipe. Yeah. Same back, you know what I'm saying? Just no, the jab doesn't you. work. Exactly. No more pouring tape. Yeah. Like that. You get hit every time. Yeah. Commit to your shot. You've got one round left, right? Come on. So Ty Tuanua in the corner of Taylor Harris she says right you need a knockout. Yeah, well, we've been looking at each other for the last seven rounds. We think uh, the same thing, Ben. She does need a knockout to win the fight. So let's see what happens when Taylor Harris is in the trenches against the outstanding Millie Agbo Bulldog, the defending Australian champion. Round eight of the Aussie title fight. Headlining this all-female card. An historic event on Fox Sports. And it comes down to this. Oh, there's that one. Right hand. <laughs> wow. And go balling. Again. Oh. And you're putting the pressure on now. That's a big right hand, Ben. Huge shots. And go oh. balling. That's the biggest yet. A huge shot. That rock Harris. She backs up. She felt that though. Oh. And there's all sorts of swelling around that eye now. And Millie Agbo Baldwin has gone to another level. And the swelling continues around that very, very badly damaged eye of Taylor Harris. And this might be time to stop the fight, in fact, even though we are late in the final round because there is damage to the eye of Harris, stop, stop. who is stop, taking break. too many break. right hands. Yeah, Ben, there's a time that comes when she can't win the fight. She doesn't need to get punched anymore. Millie Agbo Ballin just uses the ring and I think is showing some sportsmanship here. And just trying to stay away, but that goes away in a moment as she tries to find another right hand. And now with 15 seconds left in the fight, well, it'll take a miracle now for Taylor Harris because this has oh. been a supreme boxing performance from Millie Agbo defended her Australian title absolutely brilliantly and for the Nigerian born former Commonwealth Games bronze medalist this is the biggest night of her sporting career and perhaps her life and you can see just what it means what a performance on this stage that is something she will certainly never forget. Tonight is a night in history. Ben, all female card, and I think that fight right there is definitely something to go down in history. That was unreal. And, gee, she has taken some damage as Taylor Harris and viewers on Fox footy. The replay of AFL 360 coming up very, very shortly. But let's have a look at the highlights from this one. And 
the presence and the power of Millie Agbo Borland was something that, well, I don't think we quite expected. I definitely not been, but that right hand just continually landed, and I mean, um, Harris found no answer for it. There wasn't nothing said in the corner to try to prevent it from happening, which, you know, to, to me is upsetting as a trainer. You, you've got to, these got your, 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 um, your pupil know what, what, what your what opponent's trying to do to us. Oh. performance. Just incredible stuff from Millie Agbo Borland. She came in here a heavy B-side despite being the defending champion and she fought like every bit the A-side, every bit the champion and she oh. has changed her life here tonight. She's Wait. done something really, really special and look at the damage on the face of Taylor Harris. She is an out-and-out -out star, and you don't like to see her injured in that way. And she's meant to be at AFLW training tomorrow. I don't think that'll be happening, but, gee, we hope that she can recover from that damage very, very quickly and get back to the top of Australian sport, which is exactly where she belongs. She is an absolute credit to sport in this country, and it's been a pleasure to have her on this show and any show that we've had her on because she is a special person who has put in a great effort here tonight. Let's go to Lieutenant Dan Hennessy and get the scores. Fighters to the centre ring, please. Ladies and gentlemen, can we please have a round of applause for these two fighters? What a fight! And could we also have a round of applause for our referee who did all five fights here tonight, Leon Reed! After eight rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. Judge Les Spears scores the competition 76-76 draw. Christopher Alendi scores the competition, 73-80. And William Sala scores the competition, 74-70. For your winner by majority decision, and still, the AMF Nibel Super Welterweight Champion from the of the red corner, Millie Agbo Well, Millie Agbo Bulan, tell me what this moment means to you because uh, this is something pretty special. Oh my God, I'm so happy to be in this card. And um, this is a plus for women boxing. And, um, and I, I want to see how much I could keep it high and um, be a lesson or be a teacher to other, coming up, to other female that are coming up. And I'm so happy to be on this board, on this fighting. And I'm grateful to the coordinators. I'm grateful to everyone who participated in this boxing. I said thank you and thank you for making me among. This is a plus for the women boxing. Thank you very much. Well, thank you, Millie, because we just saw something special. That was a brilliant performance. Is that what you expected? I've trained for it. I always tell my coach, whenever I train, I am confident but not overwhelmed because I know I cannot underrate a boxer that is bold enough to be in this four corner. So I respect everyone that comes into this boxing ring because cowards, like I tell my coach, cowards cannot be in this four corner or this ring. So tell her, I'm really grateful for fighting me and thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you and congratulations, Millie.